Deva, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. This book is so beautiful, and your approach to explaining the solar system is so unique. C can you explain this a little bit? In approaching this book, I wanted to make the planets accessible to people who were intelligent but ignorant of this subject and perhaps uninterested in it. So I had the idea to approach each planet in a different way by some route that was already familiar to people. Science fiction, astrology, mythology. And that let each planet have a different voice. What was your inspiration for writing this book? The discovery of planets around other stars. This is something I've been hearing about as a prediction for more than 30 years. For our time, for people alive now, this is as big a reversal of our view of the universe as the Copernicus reversal of saying that, no, the Earth is not the center of the universe. It's a planet in orbit around the sun. And now we have to say, we're not the only planets in orbit around a star. There are hundreds, thousands, millions of others. Your chapter on Mars was particularly interesting because you tell it from the point of view of a Martian of sorts, actually a meteorite. Why did you choose to tell the story this way? Because it seemed to have in it evidence of a fossil life form, a rock that formed on Mars and got itself to Earth without benefit of any spacecraft, any astronaut going to pick it up, just through natural causes, an asteroid collision, the laws of physics, had maneuvered its way close enough to Earth to be pulled down and land in Antarctica and be picked up by scientists on snowmobiles. What do you hope your readers will take away from the experience of reading the planets? I hope readers will have a sense of being more at home in the solar system, of seeing the Earth in the context of the other planets, because I think it looks even more beautiful when you see it that way, and a sense of how these objects have been a part of people's awareness forever. And they've been taken away from people in recent generations. You don't see them as much because there's so much light at night and so many other things to do at night. It's the rare nerd who goes out looking for planets. But uh, the search is rewarding. You don't need a telescope. They're, they're bright when, when they're in the sky, you notice them. David, you've really created something beautiful as well as informative here. So thank you so much. It was really a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you. I'm glad you think so. David Sobel has been lauded for illuminating difficult scientific concepts through compelling stories. Our solar system gets this special treatment in the planets and is an intriguing read in any light.